Only people that won't be deceived who is slotted in that white slot, whose names were on the book before the foundation of the world. That's the only people. And the only people considered in redemption there is the predestinated. Amen. 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 But we have a church here this morning. We don't know who they are. Yes, sir. Amen. We can't even judge. No, sir. And you better don't try. Amen. Amen. Because we had a lot of that in, in ages coming up, you know, yes, through the ages of groups and whatnot. And people putting people out the bride and all this kind of Amen. nonsense. They, do, they never brought you in, they putting you out. Nobody knows. Only God can we separate the name of the Lord. Did not the Bible say the Lord knoweth them that are his? The Lord knoweth them that are his. Only the predestinated considered in redemption. But Ram says, no, did you get it? Did you get it? He said, let me say that again. The predestinated is the only one that's considered in redemption. And he went on to say that people might be making like and thinking they are. But the real redemption is those that are predestinated. Because the very word redeem means to bring back. Amen? Amen. To redeem something or to redeem anything is to bring it back to its original place. Amen. Amen. So it's only the predestinated will be brought back because the others didn't come from there to begin with. Oh, praise the name, Lord. Lord. Brother, sister, I am going back. And you who come from there is going back, can we say amen? amen. Under redemption plan. Because right. we come from there to begin with. Amen. I have a quote here. The new birth is putting us right back in the place, you know. Amen. Oh, if I could find it, I hope so. <laughs> I don't know where I put it in the Bible somewhere. I usually stack them inside here, you know, so when I'm preaching, I'm able to get it. Uh, I don't know if I can find it here. But the prophet was saying, the new birth, when we are truly born again, brings us right back under redemption. Can we say amen? Amen. Amen. To the place that we was to begin with. To the new birth. You see, don't take the new birth lightly. It brings you right back to the place where you originally should be. You must be born again. If you are to get back there, I can't find it now. I don't know where I put it. Amen. Amen and amen. But that's what the new birth does to us. So now I've tried to inject it in your soul here this morning that our religion is by blood. And you cannot take blood from the Bible. Amen. Amen. No, 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 no. It's dripping with blood. Yeah. You ever hear the prophet say it's dripping with blood? Yeah. All the way it's dripping with blood. Yeah. Amen? Yeah. All right, no. So that is our religion. It's by blood. No, brother, wasn't if you say that, you have to bring it through the scriptures, you know. Yes, sir. So Brother Bram says redemption is by blood and started all the way from Eden. Can we say amen? amen. According that again, it started all the way from Genesis, the seed chapter of the Bible, back in in Amen. 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 Is that right, friend? Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. No. And here he speaks now of the color red. Blood is red. Is that right, friend? The color red to our traffic in the streets is danger. 
Red is danger yes, in that respect. But not so in the Bible. No, Amen? Amen? In the Bible, red is blood. Amen. And your sins are likened to that color. Amen. Why, I just read it in Isaiah. Amen. Do your sins be red. Amen. You want me to read it again? Amen. Do your sins be red yes. like crimson. God said they shall be white as snow. Amen. How many believe that? Say amen. amen. But Brother Bram, now, you know, he, the way he, he brings things there by revelation, yes, he says, but when you, you take red yes, and you look through red, yes, it becomes white. Right. Amen. Amen. Red, true red, is white. White is always the original color. Can amen. we say amen? amen? Is that right, friends? Amen. But you take red and you look through red, or you say you take your red sins. Yes, sir. Amen. 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 And you drop it then amen. through the red blood of amen. Jesus Christ. Amen. It becomes white. Your red sins, because your sins, all your sins are, is likened to that color red. Amen. Though your sins be as red as crimson, Amen. they shall be white. Amen. But you have to drop it in the red blood. Can we say praise the name of the Lord? Amen. And when you drop it there by your confession in the red blood, it becomes white. Can we say praise the name of the Lord? But well, that's a consolation in itself. Yes, sir. To know you, you can take your red sins, yes, sir. all of it, can we yes. say amen? Yes. Oh, and Lord. drop it in the red blood of Jesus yes. Christ. Yes, and God say, this shall be as white as snow. Yes. As though you never did it. Yes. Red true red is white. Yes. Amen? Now, you cannot take blood from redemption. Redemption is by blood. Then when we had redemption by blood in Exodus 12, we've been through it. Amen? All Israel was to come under the blood. For safety. Because the very night the dead angel was coming through the land. Amen? And there was only one place safe. There's only one place saved that night. Amen. Not one house, one place. Amen. 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 All over Goshen. Yes. That the people had to kill the lamb. Yes, sir. Take it on the 10th day of the month. Kill it on the 14th time in the evening time. In the 14th day. In the evening. Amen. But take the blood. Amen. And put it on the doorpost. Amen. That was the place that God made for their safety. Can we say amen? amen. Why put them under the blood? Why the blood? Was no other place safe there? The only safe place was under the blood. Why? Because the dead angel was coming through the land. God said, I'll pass through the land this night. And he'll take out every firstborn. And Brother Abraham said, that was the dead angel coming through the land. And the dead angel was not forbidden to strike anybody. Can we say amen? amen? Amen. Look, the dead angel, even the Israelites and all he can strike. Amen. Amen. Even, even if the Israelite person was a high priest, yes, the dead angel could strike him. Amen. Wasn't forbidden to strike anybody. He could strike anybody who was not under the blood. Amen. amen. We don't realize how secure we are. Amen. Sitting right here this morning Amen. under that red blood. Can we say praise the name of the Lord? Amen. God ain't even looking at us. He looking down at the blood. Can we say praise the name of the Lord? We save and we secure. Amen. 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 Nothing will harm us. Amen, Amen friends. Oh, praise the name of the Lord. So we bring the blood through the Bible. 
and you take the blood out of the Bible, you will have no, no religion at all. Amen. But all religion is by blood. And then we see then that Rahab the harlot was given a symbol of the blood. Can we say amen? amen. And that was a scarlet coal. Amen. When Israel on the march going to the promised land and the first place in battle to meet was Jericho. Can we say amen? amen. And there was Rahab living on the house on the wall top there. Amen. 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 You see, and by predestination, by foreknowledge of God, Amen. God was mindful of this little street lady. Amen. That's right. Did you know that God is mindful of every one of us this morning? Amen. That's right. In our condition, in our state, and everything else Amen. like that? That's right. even, even while we are out there as sinners? Amen. That's all right. That's all right. His Amen. mercy and great is, grace you. is so great. Amen. Amen. But oh, you type that all through the Bible. Yes, sir. When, you speak, when you speak of the patriarchs in the Bible, like Abraham, Isaac, Jacob, Joseph, and those patriarchs, when you speak of them, they had one that had so much grace. Amen. 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 And that was Jacob. Yeah. And you know what Brother Abraham said? Even while Jacob was doing all the evil, And he was, uh, was putting uh, uh, those uh, poplar sticks yeah. in the water yeah. to teeth his father-in-law, yeah. cattle, yeah. if you ever read the story. Yeah. Amen? Yeah. And, and make, make the birds of the, the little ones come out speckled yeah. so that he can number them and carry them away. Yeah. He was a trickster, you know. Yeah. Jacob means supplanter, deceiver. Yeah. And so was his name. Yeah. And even while he was out there doing all of that, you know, God grace was with him. Amen. Because of Abraham and the promises God made to Abraham for his seed, the grace of God was with Jacob. Amen. That is why the prophet in the foundation of the masterpiece, can we say amen? He said, was well, Abraham by faith, Isaac by love, Jacob by grace. Amen. And Joseph by perfection. Amen. You don't realize it, but when you were out there, yes, God's grace was to you too. Amen. None of us could have come out from out there Amen. without his grace. Can we say praise the name of the Lord? Amen. That grace was going along with us all through those times. Amen. That grace was a Jacob all the time. All the that's why Brother Abraham said, Jacob is grace. Amen. God doing evil out there. Amen. But this was grace bringing him through. Amen. 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 Until he met the angel to change his life. Amen. Till he wrestled with the angel Amen. to turn his life around. Amen, Amen friend? Amen. And he made a pivot point in his life. A turn around. Can we say amen? amen? Amen. And because of that grace bringing us all through all those times, yes. that we could have make a pivot point. Amen. We could have make a turn around in our life. Amen, amen friend? Yes. And sometimes when you turn around, we friends can't understand. Yes. It has puzzled them. Amen. Amen. But, but there's all we foreknowledge of God. Amen. Predestination. Yeah. Amen. Amen. So in order then, what Israel was to destroy everything in the path to the promised land. But this little harlot woman, Rahab the harlot, her name is wrote immortal in the Bible. See? A street walker, and her name wrote immortal in the pages of the book. Can we say amen? Nobody can rub it off. That don't, care what, don't care what people say about she and what she was. That had nothing to do with God. Can we say amen? amen. Look, look, believers this morning, not what you was, eh? It's what you are. No. Can we say praise the name of the Lord? What you are, no. You'll always get the devil saying you was this, you was this, you was that. 
No, no, it's what you are now and what you will be in the future. Can we say praise the name of the Lord? Name I wrote immortal in the pages of the book. God didn't hide it. God didn't hide what she was, you know. You read in the Bible, see Rahab the harlot. But follow her. Follow her through our script here. Yeah, Amen. Yes, sir. You will see that when she was saved, yes, sir. by hearing the token message, yeah. she heard the token message. Yeah, you never hear it, go and listen to it. Yeah, the token message. Yeah, the spies went over yes, to spy out the land. Yes, Amen, friend? Yeah, Amen. Yeah. And the only place that the spies can hide is in the hallowed house. Amen. 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 When they went in their home that night, that, that wasn't for evil, you know. No, no they went in to play the tape. Amen. Amen. Brother Abraham said, they are, the prophet called them tape boys. They went in, they perhaps had a briefcase recorder. Yes, sir. Uh, and they played the tape. They said, listen, sister, we are here be." To spy out the land and it, because the, 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 the nation of Israel is coming true. Yes, and you're all in the path. Yes, Amen. Amen. Say, listen, you have, a, you have a chance to be saved. Yes, Amen. Say, Joshua, the destroying angel, going to destroy everything. Yes, that, that is the commission. Yes, destroy everything. Yes, and they explain to her what's happening. Oh, they yes. say, but listen to this tape. Sorry. Click on the, click on the, the put on the token. You better put on the token when you leave here this yeah. evening. Eh? <laughs> and you put on the token. Amen. Yes, amen. amen. Where the blood was the token. Can we say amen? amen. Is that right? Amen. God told them my blood would be the token. Amen. That red blood amen. would be the token. Amen. And everybody that wants to be saved on that night have to get under the token. Amen. amen. Is that right? Amen. And they were saved. It was proven that they were saved. So they wasn't telling a message of something didn't happen, you know. No, no, Rahab the harlot was aware that that happened in Israel, that that happened in Egypt. She was aware of it because she said, we have heard <laughs> what God did to the Egyptians. We heard that. And they said, this is the message. This is what saved us here. Amen. Amen. And then they, they played it for her. When they played for her, she believed. Yes, Amen. 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 Well, you know, the, the king, she threw her life in jeopardy, you know. Yes, sir. That's right. Because the king heard that these spies come over too. Yes, sir. And they went all throughout the streets looking for them. Yes, sir. But, but they, they wouldn't think of looking at a harlot house. Yes, sir. Amen. Amen. Amen and amen. Yes, they wouldn't think about that. No, Is that right? But she threw her life in jeopardy and she hid the spies there. Amen. She hid them there Amen. until morning coming. Oh. Amen, friend? Amen. But when they used to leave the following morning now, they said, what can we do for you since you believe the message? Amen. Hear what she say. She said, give me a true token. Amen. I don't want no false impersonation of it. And I don't want no, no carbon copy. Give me a true token. Can we say praise the name of the Lord? Amen, Amen friend? Amen. But they couldn't kill a lamb at that time. No, sir. Amen. Now Rahab was a Gentile. Yes, sir. Hear this. Back there, there was no immediate sacrifice yes, sir. of killing lamb for a Gentile, you know? Yes, sir. Back there, there was no sacrifice. Yes, sir. No immediate sacrifice of a lamb being killed for a Gentile. Yes, no, no, no. A lamb was killed for the people of Israel. Yeah. Yeah. Not the Gentile. Rahab was a Gentile. Yeah. Amen, friend? Yeah. So they have to give her something. Yeah. She asked for a true token. Yeah. So all they had was the scarlet cord yeah. that represent the blood. Can we say praise the name of the Lord? Yeah. Say, take this and hang it down on your window there. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. And when you hang it down there, leave it there. Yes, Say, because when Joshua come over the land in the morning, yes, amen, yes, it must be hanging there. Yes, displayed. Yes, oh, praise yes, the name of the Lord. Yes, 
said, display your token. Can we say amen? amen. That was a type of the blood. Yeah. And she had to hang it there and, and they warned her. They say we are not responsible. Yeah. You believe the message is, yeah. yeah. we're giving you the token, but we are not responsible yeah. if when Joshua come over and it's not there. Yeah. If the token is not displayed, we are not responsible. Your whole house, they would mash your whole house up. She said, I understood. Amen. And she dropped the token and hung it down there. Amen, friend? And she leave it there. And that morning, Joshua and them come over. Amen and amen. And the whole of Jericho was mashed up. Can we say amen? And the only thing stood was Rahab and her household. Inside there, she had her uncle, her aunt, her father, her mother, everybody. And you know something? Today we are not concerned of bringing in with family. Amen. Amen. We, we are not even half as concerned as Rahab the Hallard. You know Rahab was concerned not only concerned, Brother Bram says she was convinced. That's right. She was convinced of the message amen. of the token. Can we say amen? amen. And being convinced, she become concerned. Yes, sir. You can't be concerned until you're convinced. Can amen. we say praise the name of the Lord? Amen. Convinced for what? To bring in all her family. Amen. She was concerned about bringing in her family. She went to her mother, father, uncle, aunt, and everybody and tell them. Warn them, Jericho is going to be mastered by God. Amen. And perhaps the family got a little concerned too. They said, what will we do? She said, I have a, a scarlet cord hanging in the window. Come under it. Amen. And she packed them in that little one room. Amen, Amen friend? Amen. Packed them all under there. But it doesn't matter how squeezy the room was. What matters was they were under the blood. That is what matters. And when Jericho come, come, come through the land there, and the Joshua angel, Joshua come through the land. Amen? Amen. Only Rahab house was saved. Amen. That was the only house that was saved. Amen. All the other Jericho was mashed down. Amen. Amen. Mash down like if Dorian passed through there. Amen. 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 Amen, saints. But follow Rahab. Follow Rahab. And just one them. They won the victory there. And they're on the march to Ai, another city. Amen, Amen friend. Amen. But Rahab, a Gentile, was outside. Yes, sir. There she and her little group of family there. Yes, packed up on the outside. Yes, sir. The trumpet blow, yes, and Israel begin to march. Yes, Israel accustomed to trumpets, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. blowing for war, yes, blowing for march. Can we yes, say amen? Amen, amen. amen friends. Yes. The seven trumpets in the book of Revelation. Yes, Can we say praise yes, the name of the Lord? Israel is trumpets, yes, and as they march in there, they're going in the march. Amen. Yes, amen. And here was little family, the Gentile family outside. Yes, Outside the economy of Israel. She can't even get in. Nowhere to get in. She not marching nowhere. Jericho break, broken down and everything else like that. What is she going to do? Thank God for his grace. A general in the army of Israel. Can we say praise the name of the... A five-star general. Marching over, look over, and he sees this little woman and her family. I don't know, brother, if it's her hair or her eyes or whatever. But she had whatever attraction she had, his eyes fall on her. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. His eyes fall on her, you know. And one time, maybe inquire a little bit. And the, the, the prophet said, Love at first sight. Love at first sight. One time, one time. Amen. Amen, friend. Amen. But now he can, he, she can march with them. No, no, no there's a circumcised people. Amen. There's an uncircumcised something there. Right, Is that right, friend? Amen. So the thing he had to do right there and then, yes, sir. call for a marriage. Yes, sir. 
right there and then the marriage of the Lamb comes. Can we say praise the name of the Lord? Hallelujah. Amen. Call for marriage one time. Amen. Amen. He know for her to match with them. Yes, sir. Circumcised people, yes, sir. he had to marry her. Amen. 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 And he had to marry her to bring her under circumcision. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Oh, well, all the, I think about it sometimes. I say, all oh, the rest of the Israeli girls, yes, Israeli ladies, young ladies, and so forth. They must have didn't like that. <laughs> Now, this five-star general is a type of Christ, eh? Amen. He's a type of Jesus Christ. Yes, you think the, the, the rest of the Israeli young ladies and them would have liked that? No, 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 no. Some of them must be watching this five-star general for, for a long time. Amen. Oh, and all of a sudden, the five-star general eyes, eyes fall on a Gentile. Oh, 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 oh. Amen. Amen, Amen friend. Amen. You think the people of Israel like when, when we Gentiles talk about Jesus Christ? <laughs> Amen. 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 Amen, friends? Amen. But that's the way it is. So he married her. And by marrying her, he brought her under circumcision. No, she could march with them. Go into the land of promise. Amen, Amen friend? Amen. And when she come in the land, if you read the story... Then she married, she, she, she was married already. She bought a child. Amen. Amen. Amen? And his name is Boaz. Boaz. Amen. The child she had for the five-star general, yes, her, the child name is Boaz, Boaz. which is a type of Jesus Christ too. Amen. Amen. She's a righteous line now Amen. all the time. Righteous Amen. blood going Amen. down the line. Amen, Amen friend? Amen. And that shows that the Gentiles, so perfectly in the scripture, come in by a marriage. All the Gentile bride that ever come in, come in by a marriage. Ruth come in by a marriage. Can we say amen? Asinot come in by a marriage to Joseph. Can we say amen? Even Joseph, which is the type of Christ, marry a Gentile, you know? So scripture is perfect. Amen. Perfect scripture. Amen. Even Joseph married a, a Gentile. Amen. Boaz married a Gentile. Amen. Ruth. Can we say amen? amen. And, and Rahab married Salmon. Amen. 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 So God been typing the mystery all through the amen. Bible. Amen. All right. So she was under the blood and she was saved. Amen. Rahab the harlot. Yep. Amen, friend? Amen. So God wrote her name immortal in the Bible now. No. no. So here we come now with the blood. Now remember now, blood, the prophet says, here's the type here. He said blood uh, come from the male sex. Yes. Yes. Ah. Yes. When did this test children? Blood test? So you wouldn't get a 619? Amen, friend. Amen. Amen. Blood is from the male sex. Amen, friend. And Brother Bram says, he typed this to the hens, the chicken and what, in, in the fall life. He says that a, a hen can lay an egg. Amen. Amen, friend. Sure, she can lay an egg and whatnot. But it never will do any good. Yeah. Amen. Yes, sir. Unless she was mated with the male bird. Yeah. So the egg wouldn't be no good. No life in it, no nothing. Bad egg. Can we say amen? Yeah. But she can lay one. When not being with the male bird. Yeah. Is that true today? Yeah. By science, can we say amen? Amen. Hey. amen. All right, but that egg would do you no good. So hear what the prophet say. We, to bring forth correct children, we must be with the male bird. Amen, friend? In other words, 
We must be connected with Christ. Can we say amen? amen. Because the blood comes from the male. Amen, amen friend? Amen. And we must be connected with Christ. Otherwise, we're going to bring forth dead children. Amen. Amen. So, so it's a serious thing that science has even found. That a hen can lay an egg. And not be with the main bird. Is that true? Yeah. Why well, science is showing you that? Yeah. And many of them chicken dead before. Yeah. They, That's right. they can't live long. No, sir. Is that right? Yeah. They can't. They, some of them even have wings. So a lot of them not with, never was with the male bird. That's right. The original way, they have to be with the male. Yeah. With the rooster, can we say amen? Yeah. Then they will lay good eggs. Are you understanding? Yeah. Now, what about the church now? Because he's talking about the church. Yeah. Amen, friend? Yeah. Well, you said the church bringing forth children and never was connected with the male. Yeah. Then there's dead children. Yeah. Yeah. Amen, friend? Yeah. They never was connected with Christ. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. So, so the children must be dead. Yeah. They'll be born, deformed, and all kind of a way. Yeah. Amen. 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 But when connected with Christ, Amen. he is the male bird. Can we say praise the name of the Lord? They're bound to come out right. Amen. Amen. They're bound to come out right when you're connected with Christ. Can we say amen? amen. And not joining church. Not putting your name on the book and all these sort of things. The churches are full of that. Can we say amen? amen. It's, like, it's just like the, the chicken coop, the, the hen. The farms and things are full of them hens. Yeah. Yeah. And they're producing eggs. Yeah. Yeah. The prophet warned, be careful of eggs in the last days. Yeah. You know the prophet warned that? Yeah. Be careful of eggs in the last days. Yeah. Because them chicken and them can bring forth eggs without being with the male bird. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Oh, praise the name of the Lord. Everybody following me this morning? Amen. So listen, I'm going down a little deeper here into this year. And here we are now, here in my message on the red heifer. Why would God specify that color of heifer? Amen? Amen. Numbers 99, the red heifer. Amen, friend? Amen. All right. And uh, the red heifer was chosen out of the rest for the sacrifice. And this heifer was to be, to be killed before the priest. Yeah, now watch how we type in Christ. Yes, how many knows that Christ was killed before the high priest of that yeah, day? Yes, yeah, Did you know the high priest of that day was right there? Yeah, right. Watching the crucifixion? Yeah, and Christ was killed. The Bible says in Numbers 99, the, 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 the heifer was to be taken and killed before the priest. Yeah. Before the high priest, can we say amen? amen? And the high priest was right there yeah. when the heifer was killed, can we say amen? amen? And on Calvary, the high priest of that day was right there. Amen. Amen, amen. amen. amen friend? Amen. Let me see it here in Numbers 19. So you see the symbols of it here. God designated a red heifer. The color red is redemption color. Amen. All right. This is the ordinance of the law, which the Lord had commanded, saying, Speak to the children of Israel. They bring thee a red heifer without spot. Wherein is no blemish, and upon which never came a yoke. That is speaking of Christ. Amen. No yoke. Wasn't yoked up with nothing. Amen, Amen friend? Amen. All right, wasn't tied up to anything. No creed, no dogma, no nothing. Never came a yoke. You shall give her unto Eliezer the priest, that he may bring her forth without the camp. See? Not, not, in, a, not in a, a hidden place. 
and one shall slay her before his face. A type, Eliezer the priest, before his face. And Eliezer the priest shall take of her blood with his finger, sprinkle of her blood directly before the tabernacle of the congregation seven times, which speaks of the seven church ages that's coming. Amen. Amen. All right. So this heifer now, if you watch the nine verse, and a man that is clean shall gather up the ashes of the heifer, lay them up without the camp in a clean place, clean man, clean place, and it shall be kept for the congregation of the children of Israel for a water of separation. It is a purification for sin. They take then after the, the heifer was burned, and he that gathered the ashes of the heifer shall wash his clothes, be unclean until the evening. It shall be unto the children of Israel, unto the stranger that sojourned among them for a statue forever. Yeah. And when the heifer was burned and everything else like that, a clean man, amen, amen. must gather up the ashes of the heifer. A clean man with clean hands, not dirty hands of unbelief. Can we say amen? amen. He takes up the ashes and he takes it there to sprinkle it over the congregation of the children of Israel for a water of separation. Amen. 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 Now, he doesn't do that in the holy place. He doesn't do it in the holy of holies. He do it in the outer court. Amen. 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 He does it in the outer court. And that's when the people come in now to approach God. Can we say amen? amen. Down in the outer court. Amen? amen. Like these two young people that rest were baptized and whatnot, they know we're approaching. They know we're approaching in the outer court which types justification. Amen, amen friend? Amen. And so they, 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 they're going to be, the, the, the waters of the separation will be sprinkled on them. You know how the preacher preached the word? Amen. amen. That's why we preach it the way it's revealed through the mouth of the prophet. Can we say amen? amen. Because this is what's going to sprinkle over them to wash them. Amen. It is the washing of the water by the word. Can we say praise the name of the Lord? To sprinkle the unclean. Amen, friend? So they're going to be sprinkled here and cleansed here because they're going before they go any further. They're going to take justification here as the first step. Can we say amen? amen? And then after the sprinkling and the washing of the water, then they're going in to walk through those seven stripes. Can we say praise the name of the Lord? Amen, friend? You see this first part here? It's the sprinkling, the washing, the cleansing. Can we say amen? amen. It's preparation for fellowship with God. Yes. For real fellowship with God now. Because the next step they had to walk is into the holy place. Amen. Where the seven golden candlesticks are. Can we say amen? Amen, amen friend? To come into fellowship with God, first they must have the wash washing of the water by the word. The ashes of the heifer must be sprinkled on them first. Can we say amen? amen. amen. To wash them and cleanse them. Right, amen. amen. And for the separation of sins. Amen. They're young. What is sin? Sin is unbelief. Here the prophet says, sin is not smoking. No, sir. It's not smoking marijuana or, or, or cocaine. No, sir. That's not sin, you know. No, sir. Amen, friend? Amen. You see, preachers didn't know what they're preaching about. They're saying they're sin. And sin is not that. No, sin is not thief and all lying. No, sin is not even committing adultery. No, That's quite a statement to make. A little uneducated man. That didn't have no theology. Not even an eloquent speaker and all these things. And stand before a scientific world. 
an educated world and say sin is not smoking or sin is not drinking. Amen. Frankly, a sinner does not commit sin. A sinner is just a sinner. So just expect them to do anything. Amen. But it's not expected of you who claim to be a Christian to do anything. You have to live a certain way. You have to walk a certain way. You have to court a certain way. You have to dress a certain way. Amen. Why? Because you are under redemption. Can we say amen? You are redeemed people. You are the people that's washed in the blood. Sanctified and made holy. Can we say amen? Amen. 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 You can't do anything. Because you are bought with a price. In other words, somebody own you. Somebody own you. Amen. You're bought with a price. Amen. You're not your own. No, sir. Amen. 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 If you own, you can do anything you want. That's right. But you're, you're responsible to somebody. Amen. 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 Let me quote that again. A sinner does not commit sin. No, sir. Amen. He's a sinner. Expect him to do anything. Amen. Anything that a sinner does. Amen. And a small sin is just as guilty as a big sin. Amen. Guilty of one is guilty of all. Can we say amen? amen. There are no small sin and big sin. Sin is sin. Amen. So what really is sin if it's not smoking, drinking, and all these things? What really is sin? Sin is unbelief. Amen. And people do those things that I just quoted there because they don't believe. Amen. When they believe, it's, they stop doing those things. Amen. Can we say praise the name of the Lord? Amen. So that is what real sin is. Amen. Unbelief. Amen. So you smoke and you drink and you get torn yeah. and bacchanal and carnival because you don't believe. Amen. You might say you believe. Amen. You might make like you believe. Amen. You might act like you believe. Amen. But you really don't believe. Amen. When you do believe, then you straighten up your life. Amen. Amen. You may not like my preaching. The washing of the water by the word. That is the first step of justification. Must come there in the outer court yes, sir. to be washed. For the ashes of the heifer to be sprinkled on you. Amen? Amen. And the Bible says it's for the congregation of the children of Israel for water of separation. Amen. It is a purification for sin. Amen. Unbelief. Amen, friend? Amen. And you come to that first step there. Then you're moving in. Him, you have fellowship by, with God so much in the first step there, you know. You now come to the altar court. Yeah. Fellowship by, with God is when you're moving to the holy place. Yeah. On the second step, can we say praise the name yeah. of the Lord? Amen, friend? Yeah. Out here you wash, you sprinkle, and things like that. And next you're moving in. Amen? Yeah. All right, to have real fellowship with God. Amen. Some people get deceived by just coming to church and get picked up from the world. You drop into church and you feel going to heaven. Not so. Amen. Amen, Amen. Amen friend. Amen. All right, let's get the next step now. Time running out on me. Because I, I, I may never get to when the lamb takes the book, eh? But I might just speak about it on, on Wednesday, Lord willing, for about half an hour. All right. But let me tell you when the lamb really take the book. Because I mentioned it to you. You know when he take the book? When the lamb really come forth from his intercessory days and take the book. You know what Brother Bram say? When the lamb take the book, 
when the seventh seal was about to be opened. Can we say amen? amen. That's when the Lamb stepped forth. The seventh seal was about to be revealed. Can we say amen? And the Lamb stepped forth to take the book. The book of seals. Can we say amen? And to break them. Can we say amen? And give them unto the seven angels. That he might reveal them to the church. Can we say praise the name of the Lord? As at the breaking of that seventh and last seal, Amen. the Lamb came forth yes, to take the book. Amen. It's his now. Yes, sir. And the elder, the elder cried out, Behold the Lion of the tribe of Judah. Yes, sir. Well, that is only a symbol of him. Amen, Amen friend? Amen. He said the root of David had prevailed Amen. to take the book. Can we say Amen. amen. That is it. One of the elders around the throne is what cried out that, you know. Yeah. Hold the lion of the tribe of Judah. What is the lion? Brother Bram reveal it in the seals. The lion is king of the beasts. Yeah. Yeah. You know the prophet reveal that? He said in Africa as they hunted uh, Junior Jackson and some of the rest of them. Yes, sir. Amen. I know Brother Junior Jackson. I met him personally. Amen. And he says, they stayed out there on the camouflage at a certain distance. Eh? Yes, sir. And he heard the lion roar yes, sir. in the jungle. Yes, sir. The roar alone will frighten you. Can we say amen? amen. He said, and as the lion belched, our lion roar. He says, everything in the jungle shuts up. Amen. He said, even the beetle and all. Amen. Everybody kept silent. They shut up. Why? The king speaks. Yeah. And Brother Bram raised the Bible and he said, this is the king. Yeah. Can we say praise the name of the Lord? Yeah. Hallelujah. Amen. Yeah. The king speaks in this day. Yeah. Every creed and denomination shut up. Amen. Yeah. 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 The king has spoken. Yeah. Do you believe this is the king? Yeah. Yeah. Give the Lord a word of praise in it. This is the king. The king speaks. Amen. 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 That is why the symbol there. That the elders symbolize the land of the tribe of Judah. He come from Judah. Is that right, friend? Amen. Shiloh was to come from Judah. All of that's typing there in the seals. So listen now. But if so you understand, this part you'll understand. The root of David. That's simple. Amen. Lion of the tribe of Judah, the king. The root and offspring of David. Why? That is simply by God what, prom what God promised David. He raised up his son. Can we say praise the name of the Lord? It's simple. He raised up his son and he will be king. Can we say amen? The root and offspring of David. And that also means that he was before David, yes, in David, yes, and after David. Yes, Amen, friend? Yes, it's the king all the way. So the king is speaking now. Amen? Yes, he comes forth and takes the book. And the king is going to speak now. You know what the prophet say? Now he comes forth with the book. He's looking for his queen. Yes. <laughs> Can we say praise the name of the Lord? He's looking for his queen. Amen. He comes to claim his redemption for which he died for. Come for to claim it. Amen, friend? He died for it. He died to redeem us back to God. Amen. And he comes forth now. He calls. Not only looking for his queen, he calls for his queen. Amen, amen and amen. amen. That's when the lamb take the book. Amen. I won't read it through the seals for you. Eh? All right. But let me close in my message here. We are talking about the blood. In these types, all these types is what type of the blood. We had type of the blood, brass serpent now. Do you remember that? Amen. And how... 
Moses was permitted of God to make a serpent of brass. Amen? Why a serpent? Why a serpent? Make a serpent of brass. Put it on a pole. Pole represent the cross. Amen? 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 Amen. Well, here's what, here's what the revelation of it. The serpent represent sin already judged. Amen. Very simple. Sin already judged. Amen. Amen? But the whole thing there was typing Christ Amen. on the cross. Amen. And when he was on the cross, he's being judged for your sin. Can we say praise the name of the Amen. Lord? Because remember, he was made sin for you. Can we say amen? amen? And on the cross, he took God's judgment for your sin and for my sin. Oh, praise the name of the Lord. Amen, friend. One more. See, in this redemption plan, it blood is a streak of blood all the way from Genesis. To the, to the end of the Bible. A streak, one streak of blood coming through in types and shadow. Amen, friend? In Genesis 15, when God make a covenant with Abraham, and the prophet explained how they make a covenant back in that day. They take, they take an animal, they take a lamb or what, a beast, and they split it in two. How many remember that? They will make a covenant and they split the beast in two. And, and the parties stand between those split sacrifices. How many knows that? And you're so silent? They split the animal in two and the parties stand between. And they make the vow one for another. And they said, if you don't keep your part of the bargain, Amen? Amen. You'll be like this dead beast. Amen. Next one says, if you don't keep your part of the bargain, be like this dead beast. Amen. That's how they make a covenant. Amen. You know what I'm saying? Amen. The covenant was by blood. Can Amen. I say praise Amen. the name of the Lord? Amen. It's a blood streak all through the Bible under this redemption plan. Amen. The covenant was by blood. Amen, Amen friend? Amen. Amen. The red heifer, that was by blood. The brass, silver, everything was, everything in the covenant is by blood. You believe it? Amen. And we can't take blood out of the Bible. Amen. The Bible says the blood of the everlasting covenant. Amen. Not eternal, eh? In closing, it's not, it's not the blood of the eternal covenant. It is the blood of an everlasting covenant. Yes. The word everlasting is different from eternal. Yes. Amen. Everlasting is for a space of time. Yes. Eternal is forever. Yes. Right. Amen, friend? Yes. Eternal have no ending. Yes. But right now, we are under the everlasting covenant yes. of the blood of Jesus Christ. Yes. And that's going to last until our journey is finished. Can we say amen? amen? Because when our journey is finished, and we come in the first resurrection, which I had was to preach on that too. I have Mark here under the plan of redemption. The first and second Adam. Maybe I preach it Sunday coming. The first and second death. The first and second resurrection. Amen. And the redemption plan. All of that is under the plan. Amen, amen friend? But when our journey is finished here now, we don't need the blood. Amen. That is a strange statement? Yes. No. When our journey, the blood is an everlasting covenant. Amen. And it keeps us clean. Amen. All through our journey. Amen. Amen. But when our journey is finished here, we have a change of body. We don't need the blood. Amen. Amen. We won't need the blood at all. Amen. Is that right, friend? Amen. No, we're in a different bodies. Amen. And in those bodies, we cannot sin. There will be no sin. Can we say amen? No sin of unbelief and things like that. Amen? You, you probably wouldn't even have a thought of sin. 
Right now you have a lot of carnal thoughts only Amen. going through your mind. Amen. You have them, you have those thoughts. Right. When our bodies are changed. Yeah. Organists and you all come on up. Yes, Amen. Nothing but the blood of Jesus. Amen. Friends, get under the blood. And when you get under, stay under it. Amen. Amen. Israel was not to leave under that blood that night. The destroying angel was coming through the land. Amen. Not a person was to leave. Amen. Now, what if they, had, if they had played big shot and say, I'm going outside. I ha Nobody can stop me from partying. Uh -huh. In other words, you hear one say, black man had a party. And, and, and they come out from under the blood. Yes, you know what happened to them, Nana? Yes, yes, yes. The dead angel will take That's them. Right. And you know what will happen with you this morning, church? That you come out from under the blood? You can walk out, you know. Amen. Remember, you still have self-will. If you don't want to serve God, you can walk out, you know. Amen. From under the blood. Amen. But you know what's going to happen to you? Right. The dead angel is going to take you out there. Amen. Satan have a lot of traps and snares out there for you. And you know how to trap you too. Because remember Satan studying you, you know. You as a Christian, now you become a Christian. Satan studying you, you know. That's what Brother Abraham said, you have to study him too. And knows his tricks and schemes and traps and snares. Amen. But I urge you to stay under the blood. Amen. Under the word message of the Lord. Right, where right. you can be safe. Amen. Amen. And what can wash away my sins? Amen. There's that streak of blood coming through the Bible. Type in and shadow of everything. You can't take the blood out of the Bible. Nothing but the blood Yeah. 
word running through the Bible. All the way from Genesis to Revelation. This is the quote I was looking for, where the prophet said, the new birth takes us back to that cycle of eternal life. The new birth does that. Takes us back to that cycle of eternal life which we had with God before the foundation of the world. That's where the new birth takes us back. On the redemption. Amen. Praise the Lord. How many enjoy the message? Oh, praise God. It's the blood, friends. It's a streak of blood running through the Bible. In types and in shadow. So we would see the blood. Amen, friend? There's no redemption outside the blood. Amen. One, one more song as we close. Redeem how I love to proclaim it. Number 140. You only believe. I can't help singing about that blood. When you see how it runs through the scriptures in types and shadows. I am redeemed. The bird takes us back to that. Redeem 
takes us back to the cycle of eternal life which we had with God before the world we always had eternal life we just redeemed back to God what a revelation in this day amen Deacon brothers come to dismiss your people are we play something yes sir we would have the practice of them songs on Wednesday we would sing. I think we better practice with it first. All right. Ask all the... Or who wants to stay to practice with these songs? We have some new songs. And we would sing them on Wednesday, the Lord willing. And don't forget Wednesdays or communion service. Amen? Amen. Nobody, the prophet says, has a right to come to the communion table until you have received Christ. Till you come into the word message, Christ is the word. Amen, Amen friend. And if, if, if fornicators and adulterers is not to eat with us. Amen, Amen friend. Amen. We are people under redemption. Amen. Now remember, when you come to the communion table, Israel take it for 40 years. Yes, On the journey from Egypt to the promised land. How come the people of Israel take it for 40 years and at the end of the journey, not a feeble person was among them? Amen. You didn't hear nobody complain they had sugar. Amen. They have arthritis and all kinds of things. Not one feeble person was among them. Amen. And for 40 years they take it. Keeping the Passover in the wilderness. They kept it, you know, for 40 years. And the Bible said not a feeble person was among them. Strange. Are we taking it wrong? How come we have all them arthritis and back pain and, and sugar and pressure and this and, and coming even down to cancer? How come we have all of that? So where's the type at? It's a type to anti-type. Amen, friend? So... The communion is for your healing. Amen. That is what it's for. Amen. So when you come to the table, it's your faith. Amen. You believe that God would heal you. You, 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 can't, you see, because healing was provided under redemption. Amen. The brass serpent was there. Amen. For sin and for sickness. Amen. 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 You can't talk about sickness. As Brahman said, you preachers can't preach about sickness without talking about sin. Amen. Because sickness is a result of sin. Amen. It's sin called sickness. Amen. It had no sickness before sin. Can amen. we say amen? Amen, amen. amen friend? Amen. So when you come to the communion table, table, if you have a hip pain like I have sometimes, I, I walk in there at the communion table believing that God would take that hip pain away. Not ease me up from it, take it away. Amen, friend? Amen. 